Descartes, in the first meditation, as we said before, considers some skeptical arguments. He's looking for reasons to doubt because he's trying to doubt everything that he could possibly doubt. And among his reason, among the reasons for doubt, or the I should say the reasons for doubt that he raises during that meditation, are well. First, he starts his senses sometimes deceive him, and he can you can't always trust some. You cannot trust something that has deceived you on some other occasions. So that's one of his main reasons for deceiving. Moving on, he starts discussing you know. He's insane, people insane believe crazy things, he might be insane, but then he says that's not the case. So that's not really a reason he's considering. I, I say that he's just joking around over there, just uh, trying to uh, keep the reader entertained. But after that, he starts talking about, well, you know, he has a way of getting around some of his uh, sense deceiving him, but he says, gee, you know, I could be asleep and dreaming. And he says, look, we've had real experiences or real, excuse me, experiences that seem really real when we're asleep. Now, based on that, how do I know that I'm not sleeping right now, that I think I'm awake sitting here in front of my computer? He doesn't say that. He's sitting in front of the fire with a piece of paper. But he could be, you know, undressed in bed, asleep, dreaming it. From there, he considers another reason for doubt. His next reason for doubt is, well, he has this idea of God, so it could be that there's a God, you know, God's all-powerful, all-knowing. It could be a, it could be that God deceives him. Every time he goes to believe something, he could be wrong. And then his final reason that he finally gets to and if you think about it, he might be a little bit worried that God is a good a good being, benevolent being. God would not deceive him, and God wouldn't create him such that he would be deceived all the time. But maybe there is an all, like God, a being, a being that has certain God-like characteristics, that is all-powerful and all-knowing being, whose goal in life is to make him believe that things that are all false.